second to come in. All right. We're live. Hey, everybody. Uh, I couldn't resist <laughs> popping in here uh, because today is the first day of what we like to call, what I call our season of creativity. It's kind of starts at the beginning of the year, but uh, officially uh, kind of right around now. And uh, and this is what I like to describe. It's the season of creativity for art to life. And what we do in this time, this this three four month period, um, is we set up. Um, we have a couple things that art to life does. Some of you have probably experienced this before. Uh, we offer a. The, our art to life free workshop and this year it's it's a five-day workshop and it's going to start february 13th and it goes to, it goes monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday um and uh it's gonna be amazing um marianne thanks for being here um and and so but the reason we do all of this and and then we have the creative visionary program follows after that um, but we're really, really, wh why we do this, this time of year, um, it's all part of kind of, uh, getting your art going in the beginning of the year. This has always been the time when I really push my work and first off sort of thinking about what I want to, what I want to do this year with my art. And it's not so much really like goal setting, <laughs> you know, um, because goal setting is having, you know, some clear, specific uh, outcome. Uh, but it's more, I like to think of it at this time, more about an intention and figuring out what that intention is. Hey, Des, I just saw you here. Nice to see you. Um, intentions are kind of different than goals. And goals... Um, so intentions are, um, they're smaller. It's, it brings you back into the process more of, of how you get to the goal. <laughs> and so this is, this is, a, uh, this is important distinction and taking it into the process. So what's the small thing, small steps I can do? How can I stay connected to a process to take me where I want to go? So if my goal is, you know, get lots of galleries or make stronger art or bigger art or whatever, the intention that you can kind of carry, you can kind of think of that, but the intention is um, remembering this intention and doing small steps towards that so for example taking you know bigger risks in your work um thinking about this small steps instead of being overwhelmed by having to achieve some huge thing so working for half an hour uh multiple times a week as opposed to one you know huge push you see what happens is when we when we try to um if we postpone and wait to go after our art until we're clear or till we have a you know have a big block of time um the time we're not working we tend to kind of lose track of it and then because we're not doing it and we haven't freed up all this time and that takes time to free up all that time and that's rare our we start to forget about where we're going, but an intention is much easier to achieve. And it kind of motivates you uh, because all you need to do is be thinking about what it is you want to do and participating in your art in smaller incremental steps. This is always the way to make progress. And so it's no different in business. It's no different in anything you want to achieve. And intention's just a much easier thing. You know, not achieving your goal and the fear of that can like create a lot of anxiety. But having the intention of getting someplace um, allows you to be like, all you need to do to be winning at this is be thinking about it, have that intention in place to, and, and that impacts all of what you're doing. So we can be thinking about 
what it is we want to do um, as we're working for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, going to a gallery to see larger, bigger work, perhaps, if that's what you're interested in creating, allows that's that's part of that intention. It makes sense. It relates to what you're doing. So what I love about what we'll be teaching in the free Art to Life workshop is we're going to be sharing principles. I'll be going over three of the Art to Life principles, and these are uh, not rules. They're principles that can apply to any kind of art, and it really works beautifully with this idea of intention. It's It all kind of fits in. So taking some of the principles, we're going to be going over design, value, and color, um, a ton of information about these super, super important principles. And being able to apply that to your work and, and incorporating that into where you want to take your work. It doesn't matter what your goal is. It doesn't matter what your intention is with it, whether you want to uh, paint a certain kind of work or you want to paint larger work or you want to paint more colorful work. It doesn't matter the principles because we're not teaching, I'm not teaching and I'm going to have this year, I'm going to have members of my coaches, members of my team, some of the coaches participating in this. It's not about any particular kind of work, but it's about principles and ideas that you can use to progress and move your art along. It's really powerful to to think of the year and break it up a little bit instead of just thinking, well, this year I'm going to pull this huge thing off. Take a chunk of the year, take it as a season. And then what are you going to, what's your intention this season? Can we stay on point with this and really make some progress? Because if you can, then, and you enjoy it, which is super important and it fits into your life, then uh, you have something to show for it. And then you can adjust yourself after three or four months. Like it's very difficult to set yourself up for 12 months of intensity or or pulling something off and you're just going to that's that's hard to do so taking a chunk of the year and and this is what we're doing with this season of creativity art to life this first 3 or 4 months of the year it's when i completely push my art it's when we're teaching full on and and a lot of ton of people are going to be doing the same thing so um so again that free workshop is coming up on uh, February 13th, and uh, that's the start of it. So if you're interested in joining this, it's totally free. And again, we're gonna have some different things happening. Um, you can go to artlifefree.com. And, um, and it's gonna be it's gonna be just amazing and really, really fun. And there's some new things we'll be doing and uh, some different perspectives we'll be offering on these principles. Um, Okay, so um, I think that was it. All I wanted to to uh, to sort of go over. This is all about discovering uh, and improving um, what it is that you want to bring out in your art. And, and I just really want to make this distinction. This is what makes your art amazing when you, uh, or makes any art amazing is when it gets really, really personal. And all of what I teach and all of what we're teaching is art to life, the whole point of it is to pull out what it is that makes your work exciting for you, what brings you alive in your art. And that's why if there were rules, uh, if we taught that, it wouldn't work. These principles, you can adapt to the kind of work that you want to make. And part of this and the whole thing of setting intentions and taking small steps, it's really enjoyable and can be really enjoyable to figure it out. The uncovering of what it is you want to do uh, really can be enjoyable. And this is one of the things we teach at Art to Life, a process of, of doing this um, and knowing that whatever it is that you're excited about or that you've done in the past. And it's great to like look back last year and to see the kind of work you were making or what you were thinking of making or what worked and really 
think about where it is you want to take that. What's your intention? Where do you kind of want to go? What does the work want to feel like? How do you want to feel when you're making this work? These are important ideas because they're going to lead you to doing things that are easier and more exciting for you. If you're doing something, if your art makes you feel really good, makes you feel alive when you're doing it, and of course, there's always struggle, but if you can start focusing on that more, it becomes easier uh, uh, to, to stay in it. Those small steps, it's like you can just do these incremental steps that are really quite enjoyable. and if you're staying on the thread of what it is that you're after, staying true to that and not thinking that it's related as you have to make art that looks a certain way or that you know, you're comparing your work to other people or that none of that, this is about uncovering you this year. And I and my team want to help you do that. And the first thing we're going to be doing uh, is the free workshop. And I'll be talking about this a lot. It's super critical to get this information and start applying it to what it is you're after. And that's just a really cool thing to be thinking about. So I'm I'm excited. This is what I'm thinking about. Um, I'll be sharing more about this idea, but come along to this free workshop. It starts February 13th. You can enroll at artlifefree.com. You can sign up. It's totally free. And uh, and it's going to be amazing. And also, it's going to move your art along and give you some tools that you can help you uncover what it is you're after this year and, and build up your practice and gain momentum and, and pull this off. All right. Um, thanks so much, you guys, for being here. And um, I will see you on February 13th. Okay, guys. Thanks.